Welcome back. Let's get things rolling out there this morning. We're starting to get some daylight in here. We've had some fog developing this morning, too. Maybe a few clouds and maybe some fog mixing in. But otherwise, though, we're going to be seeing a lot of sunshine out there for us today, which will help to burn that fog off. It's really developing across parts of Price County, Ashland Iron Counties, and the parts of Violet and Oneida Counties. Although not widespread once you get further off towards the east, but you're noticing it in hidden miss spots across some areas this morning. And of course, with all that in mind, as prompted the Weather Service out of Duluth to issue a dense fog advisor for Price County, Ashland Iron Counties, even Bayfield County as well until about 10 a.m. this morning because of that fog. On top of that, we're also watching these winter storm watches that are in parts of Minnesota and also in parts of Iowa. And that's up to 8 a.m. Friday, or excuse me, 6 a.m. Friday for them, no. And that's because they're going to be watching for snow, and it's that same system that's going to be tracking off towards the east. So we'll see some advisories issued for us at some point, too, with the system that's tracking off towards the east. So for now, here's the general idea. We're, see we're going to be seeing a lot of sunshine today. The fog will be going away. We might notice a few clouds today, but it's going to be a nice day. The sunshine will be nice temperature in the 40s, kind of a little taste of spring as well. But otherwise, we're going to stay rather quiet for the next few days as a pattern has kind of quieted down for us. There's a little bit of snow in the Dakotas, but that's about it for anything nearby. But we added some snow yesterday. Again, we we're at 8.5 inches now for the month. For the season, 79.9 inches. We could have done 80 inches, right? But 5.4 inches is what we did yesterday. So we're, we now have 21 inches of snow on the ground at this time. So a future cast moving forward. We'll be watching for a lot of sunshine today once the fog gets out of here. By tonight, the clouds move in yet again. And really, it's going to be about it at least through Thursday morning. We're going to be watching for this, a mixture of clouds, maybe some sunshine in a few spots, so, but the clouds ultimately will win out as we head towards Wednesday and also into your Thursday before our next system starts to approach as we head towards Thursday night. And it looks a little bit like this. We'll move in kind of from the south and west going toward the north and east. So we'll be watching for that snow approaching by early Friday morning. So travel might be tricky by the time you head out the door at 6 a.m. Friday morning. So need to keep an eye on that. That will start to calm down as we head towards Friday evening at about 7 p.m. or so. Then another wave starts to move in as we head towards Saturday night and a Sunday with another round of snow that will begin to move in. We'll need to keep an eye on that as it does develop too. The pattern overall remains active moving forward, although we're dry for a few days. Temperature is in the lower teens here in the Northwoods right now, even 9 degrees over in Iron Mountain. Some other spots over in the middle 20s this morning, even over 20s further down to the south. Our average high is 35 degrees. How does lower 40s sound today? That will feel nice, right? Upper 30s for your Wednesday, mid 30s for your Thursday. Then lower 30s again Friday and lasting through Monday of next week. Forecast for today, lower 40s, mostly sunny. East wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. By tonight, here we are, 21 degrees, mostly cloudy. And that east wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven-day forecast. Again, we're dry through Thursday. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Snow moves in Thursday night into Friday. We're dry Saturday, but then there's more snow again as we head towards Sunday and also in near Monday.